Hi, my name is John Gray. We're at the Dearborn Proving Grounds. We're going to uh, be showing you the Active Park Assist. Oh. The system is actually available in most, but, you know, it's not available in like the big trucks and stuff like that, and some of the lower end okay. models. Um, it's simply turned off. It's not on all the time. You can turn it on. Um, the button is to turn it on is right here on the dash cluster, and then you'll get your Active Park Assist screen. Okay, now that's the first screen you'll see. Um, it naturally defaults to the right side because in most parking situations here, all your parking is going to be on the right side. To get it to go to the left side, say you're on a small street that has parking both sides, you want to check the left side, you use your turn signal. And that will send the uh, signal to the left side. So, there, um, so we'll put it back to the right. Um, what we have here is we have a setup of parking place that's slightly too small. This thing relies on 100 and to 100.2 it's, it's it's point two over the size of the car so it's looking for a spot that's point two over the full size of the car right and what we'll do is we'll just drive up here nice and slow I mean in most situations uh, it found the big spot on the back as you can see right off the bat it'll find it'll find the big spot anytime it's it finds a big open spot it will but we'll go on up here to a nice little tighter one and we'll take it nice slow and it'll shut itself off once it once it realizes we haven't stopped for that spot okay okay now it's searching again nice and slow it should find the spot right about now okay it's pull forward to park you'll get a stop sign telling you when to stop all right now from this situation it tells you exactly what it needs you to do remove your hands from the steering wheel if you touch the steering wheel during the situation, during what you're doing, it will shut the, it shuts the system off and it will not reset itself to go back into the parking place. You have to pretty much do it again. Right, put her in reverse. Don't touch the steering wheel. You're using the brakes and the gas. The only thing that this is working off is the steering. there again still staying off the steering wheel because it's going to center you in the spot you pull up and it's done to get out you're on your own so in most situations what you want to do it obviously it left you fairly close to this front car in most situations we just go ahead and back it up a little bit so that you can you pretty much go straight out you don't want to get trapped in a parking place like that but uh, yep, you're responsible for getting it out yourself. Alrighty.